has going so super quick one again look let's say we create name for number so this pushes my form for number input like a scope variable okay now what happens if we do my form dot for number so we're now pushing ng model into the my form object you will get a warning from angular not to do that it's very very bad idea because you are messing up the way the form works because now what you will see is that this variable is not here in the scope okay and if you go into my form where's my form yeah there is my form you see this variable is technically here but it's treated as a standard ng model so you do not have all those form elements like is it dirty is it pristine is it field is it valid so angular does not like when you do that so i'm just saying that j just don't do it at all okay now you can push something like this you see four name scope i pushed um where did i push it yeah my name for name scope but it's different name to the form element well to the form object so that then this way we retain both uh, the form input which is for name and we also have ng model scope element this is technically like kind of operates as a dummy so you don't have to look at it in the scope and it fulfills the requirement of having ng model but generally do not name them the same names otherwise you're gonna mess up the way angular works it can i have no idea but it gives you warning it can probably lead to infinite ho hoops like loops because angular as a framework is very prone to infinite loops it's very slow that's why it has so many watchers and that's one of the problems is you have to watch out for stuff like this okay take care bye bye